Hello, welcome back on my YouTube channel. In this video, you'll learn how to install Mamba and set up a Python environment with QGIS and other Python packages. This video is part of the open course Programming for Geospatial Hydrological Applications that you can find at gisopencourseware.org. In previous versions of the course, we have used Anaconda as the distribution. Anaconda, however, is very big to download, around 3 gigabytes, and uh, contains many packages that you will not use. Then we switch to using a mini conda, which is much smaller and uh, you add the packages that you need. Recently, however, we see that many people move to Mamba and also my experience with Mamba is that it's much faster and uh, gives less problems. So in this video, we'll cover Mamba. Alexander Neto, who has written the original blog post on how to use QGIS in a conda environment has updated his blog, and you'll find the link to the new blog post uh, in the description of this video. And in the blog post, you also find other essential information on installing QGIS in Conda. And uh, it's a great way to combine QGIS with other Python packages and have multiple installations and versions of QGIS in separate environments. Christian Mills also wrote a great tutorial on setting up a local Python environment with Mamba. I'll provide also the link to this tutorial in the description of this video. We'll start by downloading the Mamba Forge installer from GitHub. It's provided for uh, different operating systems and here I'll explain how to install it for Windows. So I'll download the installer for Windows and then I open it. In Edge, uh, it will complain that it doesn't know this installer and that you uh, need to create an exception here. So if you go to show more, you can choose uh, keep anyway and overrule uh, that this is blocked. And then run the installer and go through the wizard. Agree with the terms. Install it just for yourself. Keep the defaults here. The only thing we change here is uh, clear the package cache upon completion, which is recommended to recover some disk space, and then click install. Click next and finish after installing. Now go to the start menu and uh, search for miniforge prompt. Then uh, click on it and it will open the prompt. You will see in brackets base. This means you are now in the base environment. Let's start with creating a new environment and also installing packages. If you're familiar with Conda, the uh, command looks uh, very similar. The only difference is that we use Mamba instead of Conda. And um, Mamba also uses Conda Forge, the open source channel, uh, by default, so we don't need to specify it. So here you see Mamba create and then name after name the tutorials. Uh, that's the name of the environment and then the packages that we want to install, in this case, PC Raster, QGIS, and some other ones. If you want a specific version, you can use an equal sign and then the version number. Press enter, and then uh, Mamba starts uh, looking for these packages on the repository Conda Forge. And then uh, confirm the changes by typing a Y and enter. After installing, Mamba will tell you how to activate the environment. So here we type Mamba activate tutorials. Every time you open the Miniforge prompt uh, in the future, you will need this command to go into the environment tutorials, which is now displayed also in brackets before the prompt. And this environment now contains the packages that we have installed. Now for the tutorials, I clone the github repository so i go to the github repository and uh, copy the https link and then i use the command git clone and with a right click i can paste the link here and it will uh, copy the content of the repository to a folder with the name of uh, the repository let's have a look at the contents of this folder 
And here we see the PC Raster Tutorials uh, subfolder, which has the tutorials from the repository. And I can now launch Jupyter Lab by typing Jupyter Lab. It will normally open your browser, but in my case, I need to use these links here with Control Click to open it in my browser. Then choose uh, the Python tree kernel. And then you can go to the folder and choose Jupyter Notebook with the IPy and B extension, and that will then open on the right side. Um, important thing to do is then choose a new console for the notebook, so the two are uh, linked. And you can see we use Python 3.11. If I click the plus sign, I will get the launchers, and uh, it's also nice to have here a terminal. So I have a notebook, I got a console, and I got a terminal, and I can uh, drag them to the positions where I want and organize uh, the web page in this way. I can uh, run the code by uh, using shift return. After you've used the Jupyter Notebook, you can correctly shut down by choosing File Shutdown from the menu, and then you can close the tab. Otherwise, the server will still be uh, running and using resources. Now you see the prompt is back and the server has been closed down. When I start a new session with the Miniforge prompt, I need to always go to the proper environment that I want to use. So there you use the same command, Mamba activate tutorials in this case, that brings you back to the environment that we are working in. In this video, you've learned how to install Mamba and how to create an environment and use JupyterLab.